Jonathan, getting a full 90 again, just how did it feel to be out there? How did it feel to, to get a full 90 minutes? Yeah, it felt great to be uh, back out in front of our home fans, uh, being able to play. Uh, obviously, it wasn't the result we wanted, but, uh, you know, we've got another game coming up this weekend, so we're looking forward to that in front of our uh, fans again. Overall, how frustrating has the season been for you, not just from a results standpoint, but from not being able to quite stay on the field the way you'd like to and not being able to always be out in front of your fans the way you'd like to be? Uh, yeah, I, th I think uh, as a player, uh, the worst part of, of being a professional athlete is, is injuries and, and not being able to do what you love. Um, so for me, that's been really frustrating, um, not being able to help the team uh, when when potentially could have uh, in some, some difficult moments. So it's been hard. It's been frustrating. Uh, and uh, you know, I've been uh, disappointed uh, as well with, with where we're at in, in the table because we know we're, we're much better than, than where we stand at the moment. Saying you know, you're much better and everything, what's gone wrong with this team then? Uh, just from the start of the season until now, why, why haven't the results been there? Uh, there's a lot of factors. It's, it's difficult to pinpoint uh, just one. Uh, you know, we can point to um, certainly uh, a lot of injuries that we've, we've suffered throughout the season. And when you're constantly having to change the team uh, you don't build that continuity. Uh, we, you know, we, we signed a lot of new players this season. There was a, a, a big transition in terms of that. Um, and then when you add the injuries on top of that, um, you're not able to build the consistency and the continuity within a team. So it becomes very difficult. As the captain, how do you keep the mentality of the team high? Uh, I, th I think trying to remain positive and, and keep guys confident because it's easy to, to lose confidence when um, things aren't going your way, uh, and you kind of get into a little bit of a downward spiral in terms of the results. Uh, so that's been a big, big part of it. Uh, but I think we've got good players here still, um, regardless of the results we, we've had. Um, and uh, we've had some good performances at times. Uh, so we need to try and get back to that as best as we can. How would you assess the belief in the team at the moment? Uh, difficult to say. Uh, I mean, I think uh, the guys know We've got good players, and uh, we're, we're a good team. Uh, but certainly when you're not getting results, it's hard to, to have that belief. And, and um, you, you kind of got to just uh, refocus on, on what uh, we've been, been good at, uh, what's brought us success, uh, and try and maintain that belief. Obviously, you'll watch Philadelphia play tonight uh, in D.C. From what you've seen on them uh, on film so far and when you played them back in April, what do, uh, what do they bring to the table offensively? Uh, I think they've got some, some pace up front, uh, which can, can certainly be a threat. Uh, they're, they're decent in the midfield as well. They've got some guys who can, uh, who can pick out a pass, who can spray the ball around the field. Uh, so I think just uh, in terms of us being compact, having a good shape, uh, making it difficult for them to, to play through us is, is going to be key. They've committed this year to playing a lot of academy guys and, and trying to play their kids, especially if they're, uh, their two center backs are, are both, I think, uh, 19 or 20. Um, is it as a as an, a veteran player who's been involved in leadership in the national team and things like that? Is it cool to see that becoming you know more of a presence in MLS? Of course it is. Yeah, uh, I, I think part of um, you know uh, part of this for me as well is is the guys that we have here helping them along uh, too uh, in this league. You know, uh, having the experience that I've had. Um, certainly, uh, going back to Philadelphia though, that's a, an area of an experience that we can exploit though. I mean with. Philadelphia, they're almost a completely different team results-wise than the team you played early on this season. They've, they've been on a bit of a roll. Do you, do you take a lot of confidence from how you played them early in the season because they've been playing so well now? Uh, not really. Uh, I mean, it's a very different point in the season. Um, so uh, I'm not sure those two, uh, you can draw any uh, comparisons. You know, we're a different team than we were at the beginning of the season as well. How impressed are you, I asked James this, with the, the level of support still being there despite the run of results we've had uh, that, that, you know, even last weekend, uh, nearly a sellout uh, of the stadium and the fans are roaring from start to finish. How, that, what does that work as a motivating factor for you guys that maybe on other clubs that support level wouldn't be there? Yeah, I mean, I mean you use the word impressed. I think we're also grateful. Um, that we have the fantastic support we do from the fans here. Um, you know, they've been behind us uh, from the start uh, of the season up, in, up until now, um, and, and that's bearing in mind results haven't gone our way, and it gets frustrating for us as, it well, as well as for the fans, and, and we understand that, but we are um, incredibly grateful for the continued support that, that they've shown us, and we want to pay them back. James has said that if the intensity in training drops off, you guys just go out and do it again. 
from the start of the season, have you noticed any drop off in intensity from and uh, any drop off in enthusiasm from this club in training? Uh, enthusiasm? No, certainly not. Um, uh, in terms of intensity, I mean, it, it, it can change sometimes. Guys are going to be tired from the number of games they've played, from uh, the travel schedule. You know, there's a lot of factors that can that can influence that. Um, and and as he said, if if uh, he sees levels dropping or we see them dropping, then we we do it again and, and we make sure we get it right. Despite the results, do you think that the team is still have high spirits towards this next game? Of course, uh, we do. Yeah, uh, you know, uh, the the playoff picture is is difficult to look at for us right now. Certainly, uh, knowing that we have to rely on some other teams, uh, but all we can do is is focus on ourselves and and we have to be confident going into the games and. Um, we have to have the belief that we're going to get something out of it.